I'm Dr. Josh Atandera, I'm an aesthetics doctor, and we are here today in the London Welbeck Hospital to talk about PRP. In aesthetic medicine, PRP has got a variety of different applications. Um, most of it is used in skin and hair rejuvenation. Um, as we age, we lose thickness in the skin, we lose collagen, this leads to crepey skin, can get blemishes. PRP has been proven to stimulate hair growth, can reactivate inactive follicles, so what is PRP? PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. The way that that works is we take a vial of blood and it gets put into a centrifuge where it gets separated. The platelets are actually the cells that get recruited in the body whenever there's tissue damage because they contain growth factors. And it's the qualities of these growth factors that we're going to be using um, from an aesthetics point of view to rejuvenate um, any blemishes in the skin, thinning of the skin, crepiness. Um, active acne or even scarring um, and as well in the hair follicles to help them stimulate thicker uh, hair growth, more hair growth per follicle and even in certain occasions reactivate inactive follicles to produce new strands of hair. So what do we do with PRP treatments is we concentrate those platelets and we inject them into the problem areas that we want rejuvenated. I really prefer the Selenis system for a multitude of reasons, most of it being the fact that they've got a patented gel which helps separate the catabolic red blood cells which we do not want to be injecting from the anabolic platelets and white blood cells in the plasma that we do want. The big benefit of that gel, and you will see that in the treatment as well, is that it provides the seal. So this will allow me to swirl and get all the platelets out of the bottom of that tube without mixing it and contaminating it with red blood cells. I can even invert the tube to aspirate the PRP that I want to be using without any risk of contamination of red blood cells. And not only is this an incredible benefit for me because it makes it much more practical um, to dose and to aspirate that PRP, but also it makes it a much safer and better treatment for the patients. We are simultaneously decreasing the risks and increasing the results of our treatments. The yield of PRP for this system is unlike any of the other systems um, I've used so far. First of all, they've got both an 11 milliliter and a 22 milliliter tube. 22 milliliter tube is amazing if you're doing large areas where you're doing scalp and face, neck and face, or if you're blending with other hyaluronic acid type fillers. There's no system out there on the market that has got this high yield and even with the regular 11 milliliter tubes I've never gotten anything under 6 cc's. The yield of PRP for this system is unlike any of the other systems um, I've used so far.